infrastructure issue in one community is at the center of discussions this week as raw sewage has been feeding into the Bluestone River. It's happening in Montcalm along Simmons River Road. The issue was discussed for possible funding during yesterday's Mercer County Commission meeting. Our Robert Castillo talks with county leaders about this issue and shares more. According to the litter control officer for Mercer County, Josh Parks, raw sewage has been routinely making its way into a creek that feeds into the Bluestone River in Montcalm for at least seven months. It's caused by a malfunctioning sewer pump owned by the Blue Hill Public Service District. During Tuesday's Mercer County Commission meeting, the issue was brought for discussion about possible funding to replace the pump. If they can come to us with a, a solution and something that they can't handle on the fiscal end themselves, then yes, I feel it's obligated on our duty to go in and make sure we help as quickly as possible because you just can't have this. I mean, this is a national scenic river down here. This is what we're you know, banking on for our tourism. The general manager for the Blue Well Public Service District, when asked, declined an on-camera interview, but said during Tuesday's meeting that the PSD is working with electricians and engineers to find a solution to the problem. He says once he knows where they stand in terms of solutions, they will come back to the commission for a funding request. In the meantime, Parks suggests that people take precautions for their own health safety. His advice, stay out of the upper Bluestone River. People do swim in the Bluestone in the summertime. Uh, I would use, advise using caution against that right now until this, this is fixed because you can get, you can get several uh, bacterial infections from fecal coliform, giardia, E. coli, that definitely poses a risk. The concern here goes beyond just the potential impact to local public health. Park says he's not entirely sure how the sewage will affect wildlife in the area. He says the Department of Environmental Protection and the Health Department have been made aware of the situation, adding that it's not unusual for single-family homes to straight pipe sewage into waterways in the state, but says it should never reach this extent. Here for you in Montcalm, I'm Robert Castillo, WVVA News. Thank you for that report, Robert. Now, both Puckett and Park say the sewage system in Blue Will hasn't been updated since it was first built sometime between the 1950s and 1960s. They say over time, it hasn't been able to keep up with the influx of people living in the area. The general manager for the Blue Will Public Service District said Tuesday that it's a long-term goal to totally replace the sewage system there.